Hola guys and welcome back to another great video on our channel. Melrose Place left an indelible mark on American pop culture even though its final episode aired in 1999. The Fox drama was an enormous hit and its actors rose to notoriety as a consequence. Many of the legendary faces that brought some of television's most beloved characters to life are still grazing Hollywood with their talents, which is great news for the show's fans. Here's a look at the Melrose Place 1992 cast then and now 2022. Number 8. Heather Locklear Heather Locklear portrayed Caitlin Moore in Spin City just after the final season of Melrose Place in 1999. However, the actress's life hasn't always been sweet and bright. Locklear has gone through multiple high-profile rehab stays and has been arrested twice, once for a hit and run and then again for domestic battery. According to rumors from 2018, Locklear was placed under psychiatric hold after having a mental breakdown. Despite her difficulties, the actress has maintained a very solid career. Hot in Cleveland, Franklin and Bash, Fresh Off the Boat, and TLC's Too Close to Home featured Locklear. She was brought back to Melrose Place in 2009 for the show's revival when she resumed her role as Amanda Woodward, who was voted one of Rolling Stone's 40 greatest TV villains of all time. Locklear protected her notoriety against charges that Woodward is one of TV's botch highs in a 2009 meeting with EW, she isn't a botch, she's just misunderstood. If she were a man, no one would comment about how she conducts business. Number 7. Josie Bissett Josie Bissett showed up in 172 episodes of Melrose Place, co-featuring in some with then-spouse Rob Estes. Post Melrose Place, Bissett landed roles in a few TV films, just as on The Secret Life of the American Teenager, where she spent five seasons. The entertainer appeared in the 2009 Melrose Place reboot, and in 2016, she was brought together with Jack Wagner for the Hallmark Channel's The Wedding March. Bissett's work as a kid's book author has brought her popularity outside of Hollywood. Tickle Monster, her debut novel, was published in 2008, followed by Boogie Monster in 2011. The set Seattle house was damaged in a fire in June 2015, and she recalled the event on an episode of Oprah, Where Are They Now? Fortunately, Bissette was not physically injured in the fire, but witnessing her house burn left her emotionally scarred. During her emotional conversation with Oprah, Bissette said, I still have my friends and my family and my kids, Bissette told Oprah during her emotional interview via the Huffington Post. I can't even imagine going through what I went through without them. I just can't imagine. Number 6. Courtney Thorne Smith Courtney Thorne Smith asked Allison Parker on Melrose Place, a Midwest transplant with a major flair for drama. Thorne Smith moved on to LIM after leaving MP. I hate the thought of a 12, 13 or 14 year old girl seeing a picture of me and thinking she'll do what I did. Thorne Smith, on the other hand, returned to her origins in 2016, starring on Fresh Off the Boat in a Melrose Place-themed episode. The actress has been a regular on the Hallmark Channel since 2017 as Emma Fielding in the network's Emma Fielding Mystery Series. Number 5. Andrew Hsu Andrew Hsu's post-Melrose work is likely passed by you unnoticed. Andrew Hsu became an internet billionaire as being one of the developers of Cafe Mom, an online center for all things parenting, after six years as Billy Campbell on MP. Hsu, a natural businessman, subsequently co-founded Do Something with childhood friend Michael Sanchez. This organization encourages young people to participate in community service. In 2010, the Melrose Place star wedded ABC News columnist and 2020 anchor Amy Roback, who you might recognize. When Chu and Roback married, the two of them had children from earlier relationships. He had three children from Jennifer Hagany, and she had two young ladies from Tim McIntosh. We've been described as the Brady Bunch, Roback said in a meeting with Us Weekly with regards to the huge family she imparts to Chu. We don't know why. Number 4. Grant Cho. If you like Melrose Plays, you should email your congratulations to Grant Cho. After all, it was Jake Hansen, Cho's character, who began it all. 
Jake Hansen was the negative carpenter who helped Jackie Taylor and Mel Silver plan and prepare for their wedding in Beverly Hills 90210, as real Melrose Place viewers believe. Before the role was written out of the famed zip code and onto Melrose Place, Hansen became romantically linked with Kelly Taylor. The show found part on mega popular shows including Six Feet Under, Beautiful People, Private Practice, Big Love, Criminal Minds, The Family, and Devious Mates after five spectacular seasons on Melrose Place. In 2014, Sho and his wife, fellow Big Love actress Catherine Lanasa, had their first child, Eloise McHugh Show. Sho confirmed in 2017 that he would be returning to his soap opera roots in the CW's relaunch of Dynasty, playing billionaire Blake Carrington, a character played by John Forsyth. Number 3. Vanessa Williams Rhonda Blair, played by Vanessa Williams, was written off Melrose Place after only one season. I think they didn't make the effort to equip themselves to write for a black character, either by hiring a black writer or asking me things, Williams said of her character's untimely demise to TV Guide. When one door shuts, another one opens, as the adage goes, and Williams' career saw plenty of open doors once her time on Melrose Place came to an end. The gifted actress starred in Murder One, garnering her first NAACP Image Award nomination in 1996. Williams went on to star in shows including Cold Case and Lincoln Heights before winning the part of Francine West on The Flash on The CW in 2015. Williams appeared on the show Days of Our Lives in 2016, playing Dr. Valerie Grant until November 2018 when she was asked to have been withdrawn from the show's contract list by multiple soap fan forums. Number 2. Doug Savant Doug Savant's Melrose Place character, Matt Fielding, was a trailblazer in openly portraying that they were attracted to the people of their sex slash gender on TV in a manner that seemed less exploitative and more authentic. Savant's character received some fairly harsh comments from Fox executives as Melrose Place creator Darren Starr described in an interview with the Television Academy since he didn't fit the template of those characters who came before him. Up to that point, if you had a gay character on television, the issue for that character would be, oh my god, he's gay, Star revealed, and in this case, the character, he just had a life, he was leading his life. Savant's second significant job after leaving MP in 1997 was Craig Phillips on the popular Fox action series 24. In 2004, he joined the cast of Desperate Housewives alongside fellow Melrose Place alum Marcia Cross. He starred in Castle, Criminal Minds, The X-Files Remake, and most recently, MacGyver. Number 1. Marcia Cross Viewers of Melrose Place will recall Marcia Cross's character, the ever-memorable Dr. Kimberly Shaw, removing her stunning red wig and showing a severe scar she suffered during a terrifying car accident. Cross left the show in Season 5, but her epic wig revelation, along with the time she blew up the apartment building, will linger on throughout the hearts of 90s TV fans forever. Cross went on to guest star on pretty much every significant television show at the time, including Seinfeld, Boy Meets World, and Ally McBeal, before spending a season on the WB sitcom Everwood. Cross married stockbroker Tom Mahoney in 2006 and had twin daughters Eden and Savannah the following year. In 2015, the experienced actress and Melrose Place star joined the cast of the ABC miniseries Quantico after concluding her equally renowned Desperate Housewives stint in 2012. Cross announced on Instagram in 2018 that she is cancer-free following a long battle with anal cancer, showing off a photo of her head with her signature red locks. We're just glad she's healthy. It doesn't matter if she has hair or no hair. Melrose Place depicted a dramatic entanglement of gorgeous people who love and live in an apartment complex on a Los Angeles street. While Melrose Place's apartment doors have closed, the show's performers remain a significant part of 90s nostalgia. So do let us know some of your favorite things of Melrose Place in the comments down below, and we'll catch you guys later in another awesome video. Take care now!